ladies and gentlemen, resume your seat. Why weren't we told our this trouble when landing here? Signed with his family to re-education. And you hear a lot of that in Ghost of It's another piece. Oh, he is a student of George Crumb. I should mention I'm a second generation student of George Crumb, having studied with of course, Jerry Levinson. And Todd really has those classic George Crumb roots. He uses graphic scores and extra Quartet Effects, it's another score that David Harrington would just eat up, and indeed was issued as a DVD with that classic. 
classic performance of Black Angels. And amongst the techniques are indeed a, something that Crumb uses, but it is not just Crumb's lips. I think somebody came up with it before, which is dipping a gong in water. And the beginning of this piece, you also have a tub of water that is sprinkled with the hands. Don't listen to this unless you're near a facility. And we have evocations of Johann Sebastian Bach, quotations from older music eclecticism, which, of course, George Crumb has utilized too. Chinese folk songs. The string quartet is not only graced by extra instrumental but also an extra instrumentalist with Wu Man playing the pipa, the pear-shaped lute. You have increasing activity in this piece, shouts in the Crumian tradition, yow! And again, what's not to like? And then, of course, Hans Zimmer, perhaps the second most renowned film composer after John Williams. And he has delved into minimalism by this point now with a wonderful score to Interstellar, which is much more about this than this. And quite minimalist, as I say. Uh, artlessly simple theme, A minor. Do so, do so, re so, re so, me so, me so, fa so, fa so, re. And variants to that effect. But, observez-vous, do, in the whisk of a magic blink of the eye, do, te, le, if you go from the A down to the F and run up there, le, te, do, which, you know, fits into that classic rock and roll stairway to heaven construction, but also arguably changes the mode to do, re, me, and then you have do, mi, so, ti. Suddenly you get formed F major 7. It's the kind of wonderful hat trick that Philip Glass is so able to do as well. And when Zimmer was commissioned to do the Interstellar score, he thought about the legacy of science fiction film music and said, what's the last thing I want to do? Something like also Sprock Zarathustra and the John Williams scores, heavy on the brass. So instead, a brilliant move to use pipe organ, other keyboards, and strings.